What's going on guys? It's Dave Mate from YerbaMateLand.com and we're back for another review. Today we are talking about La Rubia, which means the Blondie. Uh, hope nobody gets offended. That's just the name, the Blondie. And uh, as you can see, we have a Paraguayan Yerba Mate on our hands right now. Now if you never had a Paraguayan Yerba Mate, uh, I think that this sort of Yerba Mate will surprise you because it is very different, starkly different from all other mates produced in, in uh, the Misiones, Argentina, and the southern areas of Brazil. Very different situation going on here. Uh, the first time I had Paraguayan Mate several years ago, I was a little taken aback because of the tobacco sour notes, which are pretty distinct to this country, Paraguay. So let's get into this mate. Let's have a little taste right here. Age two years. Really nice mate. Let's talk about what it smells like. I'm picking up a lot of marshmallow, uh, very sweet tones, tobacco, graham cracker. Uh, it has a soft sort of smell, nothing too over the top. You're going to pick up on some cherry tree, some sawdust, and believe it or not, it actually has some components of uh, the wood aisle of Home Depot. Some cement, some cigar box, and some cedar tones going on here with the smell. Really interesting smell, very subtle, but nice and soft. Now, as I said earlier, that the... The distinguishing factor of Paraguayan brands is that sourness. But don't think sour like, you know, uh, mouth puckering sort of situation. It's not that bad. It's actually pretty nice. What I'm picking up here are, you know, a little bit of that sourness that I spoke about. I'm picking up some deep layering. It has a lot of pasty, doughy components. Um... Tobacco, of course, a little bit of a mild sort of a smoke, a little bit of ash, but nothing over the top like uh, the raw mate from Brazil, which is super smoky at times, depending on where you get it from. Very buttery, very sort of a velvety dimension going on here, very round dimension, round mouthfeel, uh, a lot of clay, a lot of minerals. And speaking about the minerals and clay, as you'll see with this mate, the foams are really, really just out of control. Really nice high foam content right here. I'm not surprised that you're going to be tasting the mineral coming from this mate because look at the saponin content. It's just off the charts right here. Remember guys, this is a good indication of high uh, saponin content and the saponins are responsible for the adaptogenic properties of the mate, which really help with all sorts of things in your body. I'm not gonna go into that now. You can research some of that, which I've already published, but saponins are very good for you. And obviously this mate has a high content of saponins based upon these foams right here. So, Paraguayan mate is a very delicate mate, very subtle, uh, a lot of lightly spoken flavors going on there nothing really that's going to punch you in the face uh, so what i recommend uh with the mate water is to go somewhere between 160 to 170 fahrenheit uh now if you want to go over 170 which is okay just keep in mind that the tobacco notes the smoky notes and the sort of almost like chicory barbecue aspect of it will be accentuated uh significantly so if you want a mate that's very robust, then definitely brew this mate hot. I would say at least 175 Fahrenheit. But if you want to really appreciate the more floral, marshmallow, fruity, uh, mild, mild citrus tones, I would definitely recommend going 160 to 170 degrees Fahrenheit maximum. Uh, let's take a look at the cut. All right, guys, I consider this mate a hybrid cut. Why do I say hybrid? Because it shares the same components of Argentine yerba mate with the inclusion of the palos here, the white little twigs, which lend to the natural sweetness. But it also has aspects of gaucho mate from southern Brazil, 
in terms of the actual powder content. As you'll see here, there's relatively high amounts of polvo or powder. And this Mati also has medium, what I call medium cut ohas or medium cut uh, leaves, which could be seen here to some degree. I don't know how well you can see it, but you'll see some medium cut ones, not just the large ones like over here. So this is a hybrid cut yerba mate. I recommend using a spoon bombisha for it. Uh, Paraguay has their own signature method of cutting yerba mate. It, unlike any other country, this is a hybrid situation. Uh, it's pretty easy to manage in the gourd. You have the best of both worlds. You got the, the powder, which allows you to have the molding effect with the, with the bombisha. You also have good space that is created with the actual palos here and the larger ojas, the larger leaves. So this is the best of both worlds right here. Uh, La Rubia, Pataguashan Yerba Mate, really nice stuff, uh, certified organic, very clean, distinct sour tobacco, cherry, vanilla, fruity notes, uh, nothing over the top, very subtle refined flavors, aged for two years, so the, the herb has had time to mature and to kind of uh, develop very subtle flavors over time. All right, guys. So check us out at yerbamonteland.com, also circleofdrink.com. And uh, I hope you have a great day. Salud. Ciao, ciao.